Hello, welcome everybody to another Facebook Friday, right? A Felici Friday. How is everybody doing? Hopefully you guys had a good, what, like kind of first week of the new year. Happy new year to everybody. It's always like kind of, um, hopefully a sense of like renewal and new, I don't know, new purpose or something with that start of the new year is um, how I'm feeling this year anyway. It's not always the case, right? Hello, Philomena. Happy almost birthday to you. Hopefully you have a, a great birthday and thank you for sharing the video. I appreciate that. So yes, let's see. What do we have? Oh my gosh, I can finally show you guys. Um, oh, I'm like, I already have all these notes. So seriously, Crafter math has actually happened on my table before we've even begun. I can't even imagine what this place is gonna look like when we are done with Facebook Live today. But super duper excited, we can finally, I can show you the inside of the celebration brochure. You can now, for every 50, and in some cases $100, well, not even some cases, right? For every 50 or $100 order, or increments of 50 and $100, you can get free celebrations items out of this catalog, and there are so many many cute things. You are welcome for your birthday card, Philomena. Yes, um, so many cute things in here to choose from. I already showed you guys some fun stuff last week featuring, what was it? Oh, look at that. I flipped right to it. How about that? The friendly hello celebration. So you get a stamp set and the designer series paper free with a $100 order right now through the end of February. So lots of time, but I am telling you what, I, I, you know, I don't have a crystal ball, but I am predicting that this is the thing that is going to be selling out quickly. That designer series paper and stamp sets, my most favorite, although I've been playing with some of the other things and those are becoming fast favorites as well. Hello, Lisa. Welcome. Um, so today we actually are going to play with some things out of our new mini catalog, the January to June mini catalog. We are going to be playing with, <clears throat> it is the Sweet Talk Suite. So cute. Are you guys ready for Valentine's Day? I don't know. Um, some people are and some people are not, right? Some people love Valentine's Day and some people, meh, you know. Um, Teresa, hello. But I thought, what fun. I'm going to show you guys some cute cards to share today with, you know, family, friends, anyone that you love or appreciate. It's fun to send the Valentine's cards and treats. So this is, okay, I'm like trying to show you guys. Um, it's so sunny here. So I'm not, I never complain about the sun, but sometimes when I like lean in, I like this glare is pretty bad. Um, so I'm sure I'll be scooting the table at some point, but this is that sweet talk collection or sweet, the sweet talk suite of products right here. Um, you can see lots of cute, fun um, projects made. And then here is everything that you can get. I love that Stampin' Up! is doing this now. There's one item code for the sweet talk collection and you get everything basically on this page. So you get the sweet talk stamp set and then the dies, you get the embossing folder. I'm going to share that with you today. You get some of the real red faux linen trim. Um, I think those are called the iridescent, yeah, iridescent rhinestone basic jewels. You also get some fun um, little mini boxes. Cute, like to put um, maybe like little Valentine's cards in. Hello, Linda. And then this is my favorite, this designer series paper. It is called, yeah, the Sweet Talk. Oh, I know, it's the Sweet Conversations stamp set. And then what are those dies called? Do they even tell me that? Um, probably on the next page. I don't know the names of everything. It always... It always takes me a little while. Oh, the Sweetheart Dies, which actually you can see on this page. I love that I can show you guys the inside of the catalog now too. But here you can see um, that cute stamp set is in a glare still, but I'll show you more um, fun things that we're gonna make. I wanna tell you guys the um, sentiments though. There's one that says, you're cute, text me, hug me, BFF, and love you. And then there's another one that says, happy to have you in my life. And can you guys kind of, I'm trying to make sure you can see like that glare. Um, yeah, so here I can see them now. So those are, you can stamp them. Well, actually they all come together, right? So the little heart outline and then the, um, the, the words are inside. This one is a little bit bigger, so I don't know that it fits inside 
a heart and then I love the little XO and then this is my I love this little airmail kind of a stamp too and then just lots of other fun heart images and then the dyes will cut out so anything that's kind of whited vanilla color means that there's a dye that will cut those things out too so cannot wait to share those projects with you guys today. I had so much fun. And I have my swap cards too. So I participated in a swap. So I have a bunch of cards to share with you um, featuring mini catalog product and a bunch of cards featuring the celebration um, product too. So you guys, we're just going to have so much, you're going to get so much information, so much good stuff. I know. Stay warm. You're right, Linda. I think you're down in Florida, right? So yeah, you don't have to worry about staying warm. But yeah, that's why I'm all like, I got my cozy, warm swap sweater on today because it's cold it's sunny and beautiful um and the, there's lots of snow on the ground so it, I think that's why like it's super bright because like the sun is like reflecting um off of the snow so anyway but yeah it's a great Friday great first Friday in January right hello Deb welcome okay so let's see so we talked about yep celebration has begun oh I have to show you guys um <clears throat> <laughs> Linda, I think that you might be rubbing it in 75 degrees today. We live for 75 degrees um, around here in Michigan, right? That's my, right? Like mid 70s. Isn't that like the most fabulous weather? So enjoy for all of us. <laughs> thank you, Teresa. You're very sweet. Looking great as always. She says, thank you very much. That's very nice of you to say. Um, so, okay. So I want to show you guys, I made these little calendars. Love making these. And I got lots of fun um, comments and responses. I, I gave them to all of my club members. I know it's cold outside, but yes, the sun is beautiful. <laughs> oh no, Lisa, minus 18 today in Northern Wisconsin. Oh wow. Okay. So there's like right Northern Wisconsin all the way down to Florida. Oh my goodness. Hello, Trish. Welcome. So this is this fun little, um, calendar that I made. I'm still trying to like avoid the glare. I'm going to flip the camera down like sooner than later and then I'll probably be dragging the table around. Um, I can't do it right now though because I don't know what you guys would see if I started. <laughs> the house is um, in a bit of a disarray. So yeah, that's my plan for this weekend is to get my house picked up. Anyway, so yeah, there's no pulling in the table right now, but so I'm going to like just kind of hunker in here, but I have to show you these fun calendars. So yeah, I gave them to all of my club members and then all of my downline. I sent them to all my downline. So they've got the fun little flip calendars. These you get at, um, why am I totally drawing a blank now? Uh, expressions. I can't remember. Oh my gosh. When I think of it, I will let you know because I know I've had lots of people asking, hey, Susan, hello. Thank you for sharing. Um, gosh, isn't that crazy? Why can't I think of the name of it? Okay. It's going to pop into my head at some point. I know it will because they come with the little thingy on the front there. Hey, Nikki. Hello. Welcome. So yeah, anyway, this is featuring some of, can you guys see that little stripey? That is part of our, I think it's called the Rainbows and Sunshine Designer Series paper. Let me see, because it's just a fun, bright pack of Designer Series paper that you can get for free. You can see all the different patterns right there, free with a $50 order um, during celebration. The, yes, yeah, Sunshine and Rainbows Designer Series paper. So like I said, just lots of fun, bright colors. And if you can see the little calendar right there, Susie, hello, welcome. I just love that paper right there too. And then I love this sentiment, you are perfectly unique because obviously everyone is unique in their own way, right? So I think that's just a fun, great sentiment to send to everybody, right? Um, and that is from actually uh, from one of our annual catalog stamp sets that I am also drawing a blank on right now. <laughs> anyway, I really wanted to show you the paper more than anything, and then the cute calendar. It's just a fun little um, standy calendar. You're welcome, Susie. I'm glad you enjoyed that calendar. So yeah, um, okay, what else, what else? I think, let's, we're gonna jump right in and do our first drawing. Yeah, I have my paper, I've got my designer series paper all spread out here but I think I'm gonna wait and flip the camera down and show you guys that paper. That was gonna be my intro was, nah, I'm gonna pick it up. I'm gonna show you two times, how about that? Cause I'm afraid it's gonna get all bust up when I, um, cause I'm gonna move it out of the way. Yeah, so we're gonna show you. So this is that sweet, 
Sweet Talk designer series paper. And this piece I've already used so much of, I don't even have a full 12 by 12 anymore. But look at how fun and bright that paper is. This is what we're gonna play with. Tammy, you're welcome. I'm glad you enjoyed that calendar. Remind me the name you were asking me too. Um, remind me the name of the company that I got the calendars from because you asked me and then I think you figured it out before I got a chance to get back to you and I can't remember the name of it now. So yes, Tailored Expressions. That's it, Kathy. Yes, Tailored Expressions. And it's, I think it's, yeah, like you typed it on there. It's T-A-Y-L-O-R-E-D Expressions and it's all together. So tailoredexpressions.com. Yes, thank you. That's it. I knew, I knew I knew it, but I couldn't remember it. So, okay, so that's one side. And then I'm gonna flip this piece and then look at, here's the other side. Isn't this, oh my gosh, I just, this paper is making me so happy. Got to play with it a bunch this week and I'm gonna make some cute treats for everyone. Um, two club member treats are gonna be made with this designer series paper. So uh, yeah, I think um, we're just gonna have so much fun. Cannot wait to show this, this stuff to you guys. So, okay, all right. Um, now I moved my um, notes out of the way. Okay, we're gonna do, let's do our first drawing. Yep, okay, so, <clears throat> yes, okay, good. Um, and she says, what is she, Tammy saying, within the calendar it has a refill number. Oh, so maybe you can, oh, maybe there's a number on here. I'm trying to see. I already ripped off. So the front um, little piece I already ripped off and I should have left it on when I sent them to everybody um, because that had the information about where they came from. Um, but yeah, tailoredexpressions.com is where you get those. So, okay, all right, yes, yeah, so we are gonna do our first drawing. So you guys have already been so gracious already to be sharing the Facebook Live video, which I always truly appreciate. So keep it up, keep the sharing up. This video, every time you share it, anytime between now and our next Facebook Live video, your name will go in the drawing. Um, um, just like anybody that shared last Friday's Facebook Live video, their name is in here right now. As well, if you have not signed up for my email list, which you absolutely have to do, it's the best way to stay updated on what we have going on here locally at the, um, I can't even say the stamp studio. I've been so used to saying that for so long, but I'm gonna say it anyway. I'm not my stamp studio is over at the church. So basically keep you updated on things at the Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio locally, and then um, events that Stampin' Up and promotions, things that they have going on, just a great way to keep you updated on everything. So sign up for my email list if you haven't done that already and your name will go in the drawing also. Okay. So here we go, we are gonna draw for, oh, I should show you, cause you can't, I don't think you can get these anymore. I haven't even double checked, but I'm pretty sure December 31st was the last day that you could order the garden gems, but I still have this package right here to give away right now. Okay, so here we go. One lucky winner of the garden gems. And okay, let's see. One, no, I have like five, I can feel it. Okay, I'm whittling it down to one piece of paper. And oh my gosh, Sabina goes to Miss Sabina Miller. She just won recently as well. So she's a lucky lady right now, which is awesome because I know she's been having some health issues. And so hopefully these little garden gems will help perk her up and help her feel better. So congratulations, Sabina. I will put these out on the porch for you. You are, yes, oh my goodness, you are one lucky lady right now. Okay, so I gotta dump those out and get my names in here for the next drawing. Okay, so we are gonna give away on our next Facebook Live, um, which is gonna be in two weeks from today. So I've got um, card class next Friday, um, and that's always crazy when I try to do, um, <laughs> Teresa, woot woot, Sabina, yes. Um, when I try to do card class, um, well, Facebook Live, and then like I have to like run right out of here and get to card class. So I tend to not like to do Facebook Lives on those Fridays when I have card class, which, so I should mention, right, if you are interested, always like New Year people get excited about like, oh, things I wanna do for myself, like maybe attend a card making class, right? So we have our simple, beautiful card making class next Friday. So if today's the 7th, that'd be the 14th um, at the Peace Lutheran Church here in Alma. It's out on Warwick Drive, right near the hospital, kind of across the street from the rehab center. Um, part of the hospital. Um, let's see, so from one until three, we will be holding the simple, beautiful card class. Um, 
where we'll make four cards and you can either put an order in or you pay a flat fee and you get your cards for free if you put your order in um, or like I said you can pay that flat fee and then the next day on Saturday again at the Peace Lutheran Church um, we are going to be having the celebration and new January to June mini catalog kickoff event and that runs from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. so because I know a lot of times that's hard for people that are working on Fridays um, that you maybe can't make it to class. So I thought, okay, we're gonna do something fun on Saturday also. So I'll have lots of, I'll have all my swap cards there. We'll be making cute projects with Celebration and new mini catalog product. I'll have treats for everybody. I'll have all my swaps. Did I say that already? I'll have all my swaps there because um, I'm super excited to share those with you guys in just a few minutes too. So you'll be able to see them here on Facebook Live and then you can come and check them out there as well. So if anybody's interested in attending Card Class next Friday for from one to three or the celebration and new catalog kickoff event on Saturday that's January 15th from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. you can that's like a drop-in anytime between 10 and 1 um, love to have you join us so you can comment right here on um, the Facebook live video if you're interested or call text email me if you are um, wanting to sign up and actually finally just last night I got my phone uh, fixed fully updated and functional it has been um, I think uh, 10, 11 days of like sketchy, spotty phone service. Um, I have not been able to receive phone calls at all in the past 10 days. I can call out, which is weird. Um, and some people I can, well, I, can, I guess I can text out and then maybe people can reply. I don't know. I hadn't ever quite figured it out, but I think I've missed probably potentially a number of phone calls and texts. So if you've been trying to get a hold of me through my phone, that's been a very questionable for the past 10 days, but the way I understand it, and actually my kids called me last night and I got a, another phone call this morning. So phone calls are coming in now. So I'm very, very happy about that. So thankfully, yes, <laughs> finally, the phone is working. <laughs> Hi, hi, what are you doing, Stormy? He jumped up on the couch and he's looking at me. He's always like, who are you talking to? <laughs> talking to myself, Storm. It's all right. <laughs> okay, so we are gonna give away, that was a really long way of saying, no Facebook Live next Friday. We will be live again two weeks from today, so that'll be on the 21st of January, and we will be giving away the Champagne Rhinestones just for sharing the Facebook Live video or signing up for my email list. And these are my most, oh my gosh, the bling, you guys know me. I love any sparkly, shiny bling. Um, and these rhinestones have been working really well. They're gonna be great for your Valentine's Day projects. I use them a ton on holiday cards. I use them all the time, just that really pretty kind of soft pale pink, I guess, or champagne, um, gold, whatever color, they kind of bend to whatever color you need. So. Sign up for my email list, share this Facebook Live video right here, and you'll name your name will go in the drawing to win the Champagne Rhinestones. Okay, um, oh, I know what else I wanna tell you guys about, the Celebration Starter Kit deal. If you guys have been, I know people are always kinda, oh, should I, shouldn't I? Hello, Marsha, well, thank you for joining us. Good morning from Texas, awesome. You probably have better weather. Um, Linda was just saying it's 75 in Florida, so I bet you guys probably have better weather um, down in Texas as well. So <laughs> you're very sweet as well. Thank you, Marcia. Um, okay, so what was I saying? Oh, celebration starter kit deal. I know, you know, people are always kind of, oh, do I want to get the starter kit? What does that mean? Basically, it means that you're a super smart gal because you get an awesome deal in so, oh, <laughs> only 26 degrees, yikes. <laughs> okay, never mind. Um, yeah, that's not very warm either. Okay, um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm sorry, I keep getting distracted. Starter kit deal, yeah, so you're super smart, right? You wanna get an awesome deal because you love all of the new products, right, in our mini catalog, or maybe you still have a huge wish list from our annual catalog, right? So. This is this is the deal. This is like the amazing deal that we have going on again right now until the end of February. So I have until February 28th to take advantage of this deal. But honestly, <laughs> hello, Susan. I would um, take advantage of it sooner than later because then 
when you put orders in after that, you get a 20% discount and you get celebration um, catalog items too. So just know that um, it's not just customers who get all of those great deals and incentives and everything as a demonstrator, which you do not have to demonstrate anything. You can be what a lot of people like to call themselves like hobby demonstrators, which basically means they just um, got that awesome starter kit deal and then they just wanted to get their 20% discount on all of their purchases after that So in addition to getting 20% off of everything that you order you also get all of those free celebration products, too. Oh <laughs> Trish, oh my gosh seven to eight inches of snow yesterday and eight degrees overnight here in Tennessee That's probably kind of unusual for you guys, isn't it? Oh my goodness, Trish wow that's nuts okay you have definitely more snow than we do here we have I, i'm not going to call it a dusting because there's there's a it's not that much though so wow that's a lot of snow oh my goodness there's a lot going on it's beautiful and sunny here right now so i'm not complaining at all um okay so but the starter kit deal i haven't even mentioned that so this is the most awesome deal you guys you get to pick $125 in product, whatever you want. You can get anything if you've been eyeing new products right here out of the mini catalog. Hello, Tammy in cold Stockbridge. Yes, I know Michigan is cold right now. Or if you have products again from the annual catalog that you're wanting, whatever you want, $125 in product. You cannot go a penny over though. So you gotta get to as close to 125 without going over. It's like prices, right? Um, and then you also get to pick two free stamp sets. So what I always suggest is looking at the indexes in the back of the catalog, which again, I'm just so excited that I can show you, right? So index in the back of the catalog, I would go through and look for the most expensive stamp sets in our um, mini catalog and again in our annual catalog and find the most expensive stamp sets that you just can't live without and get those because it doesn't matter what the price is. You can get the most expensive stamp sets for free during celebration. So $125 in product, two free stamp sets, shipping fee is waived, which is normally another 10% of your order. You pay only $99 plus sales tax. So in Michigan, that's $104.94. For $125 in product, two free stamp sets, no shipping fee. Amazing deal. Plus, then you get to become an inspired stamper. Um, you get to be a part of our awesome group of ladies. I, I love to like spoil you and make little treats for you guys as well for my downline. Um, love to congratulate you on your promotions um, to qualified team member to bronze elite love to have meetings with everybody we do those on a separate facebook live group we have a separate um, facebook group just for my downline too where we do lots of sharing and inspiration and kind of business ideas too if you're wanting um, any type of a business at all um, a lot of times it starts out very kind of organically and naturally where you just like get friends together and you stamp together and then they're like oh I love that paper. Maybe I would like to order it too. And you never know what can happen, right? So let me know if you have any questions. Love to get you signed up for that starter kit deal. The link I always include, it's always on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com. And it's also always in the details above this Facebook Live video after I get everything uploaded when we're done with Facebook Live today, okay? Or I can help you put that starter kit order in as well. If you just let me know what you want, I'm happy to do it for you if you prefer not to do it, okay? Um, so let me know if you have any questions too on that starter kit deal. Great, great deal for the next two months, basically. Um... Okay, let's do, we're gonna do our other drawings and then I actually, you know what, while I'm thinking about it, let me tell you. So designer series paper share, um, where is my note about that? It's somewhere in here. Oh, it's back here. Okay, yes, so I have my little list of everything right here. So if you're interested, I already put my first order in, but as soon as I get four more people to sign up, I will get another order in and that'll just kind of keep rolling. I'm gonna offer this designer series paper share through the end of the month on Friday, January 28th. So you have some time to think about it, but if you wanna basically get, so for example, this again is that, I can show, not in the glare, right? So if you guys love this designer series paper, right? The sweet top designer series paper, you basically get a quarter of a pack. So it's a little bit less. This is not, that's a little bit more than a six by 12 piece, but you basically get mm, about like that much. Six by 12 piece of all of our 12 by 12 designer series paper. A quarter of a pack essentially if it comes in six by six you get full six by six sheets we actually have some new 
paper, the Abstract Beauty comes in four by six size. So you would get um, a quarter of a pack, basically of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven packs of designer series paper and specialty paper that are in our mini catalog. Okay, you get a quarter of a pack of all of those papers. It's just $35, you guys. And then you also get a sample of the three celebration papers, the Daffodil Afternoon, Sunshine and Rainbows, and the Simply Marvelous designer series paper. So if you're interested, you can comment right here um, on this Facebook Live video if you wanna email me. I have been emailing about it, so there's a link to order through PayPal right on, um, is that right? Yeah, on my email, I can do that. I was like, wait a minute, can I do that? I can't post it. I can't post it on, now I'm trying to remember. <laughs> I don't think I can post it on Facebook, the link. Um, so you have to email me if you would like, um, yeah, or already be on my email list to get uh, the link to the Facebook or to the PayPal link, okay? So that was kind of confusing. But yeah, just let me know. If you wanna do the designer series paper share, we'll get you set up and we'll get you paid, okay? Um, and like I said, I'll order as soon as I have four more people and I'll get that cut and shipped and sent right back out to you so you have lots of time to play with all your pretty paper. It's a great way to get a sample of all of our designer series papers so you can kind of thumb through it and figure out which ones are your most favorite, which ones you're gonna use a bunch of, and then you can order a full pack once you um, see them all. And they are always um, so much prettier live than they are in the catalog. I just have to tell you that. So yes, Linda, you're looking forward to getting all of the designer series paper. Yes, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be so fun. I think I've seen most all of the paper and it's just beautiful. There's really not a bad pack of paper in there. So yeah, lots and lots of fun. Okay, um, so we're going to do our next drawing and then we'll flip the camera down because I feel like I've already talked a lot and I have so much more I want to show you guys. Okay, so let's see, we're gonna move these things out of the way. All right, so if you have not been hanging out with us for Facebook Live much, I wanna make sure you know that you always get the cards that I demonstrated on Facebook Live as a thank you for your order. So anybody that ordered um, between the last Friday's Facebook Live and this past Wednesday at midnight gets both of these cards as a thank you from me. Again, featuring that friendly Hello Stamp Set and Designer Series paper. So you automatically get these two cards for free as a thank you. Your name is also in the drawing to win that Simply Marvelous. I love that. The Simply Marvelous Designer Series paper. And I'm going to show you guys this again because it's just this beautiful... Can you guys see? Get it out of the glare, right? Okay, so you can kind of see there's one side like the marbly, isn't it beautiful? So much prettier, again, in person than I thought it was in the catalog. I'm gonna, not gonna lie, look at that. Isn't that funky? How about that, right? So then there's the back side of all those. This one's like a little bit more bold pattern. So you got more subtle on the one side and then a more bold on the other. So with a $30 order, um, your name is in the drawing to win that Simply Marvelous Designer Series paper. But honestly, why would you only order $30 right now when you can um, get a free celebration item when you bump your order up to $50, right? Plus, when you bump your order up to $50 through me, you also get to pick from the January Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial or the free embellishments, which are the polished dots this month. So it's like buy one, get one free between, right? When you could win that Simply Marvelous, Marvelous Designer Series paper, you get the um, cards from me and you get to pick from either a free embellishment or the PDF tutorial plus a celebration choice. It's like a win, 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 win for everybody, right? Okay, so names, are they in the, yes, names are in here, okay. Oh. Yeah, I'm sorry, uh, Nikki, it's $35. Maybe I didn't say it. I'm not even sure. Oh, so $35 and then I do priority mail shipping. So it's $9 additional. So 35 and nine is that $44 um, to have it shipped to you. So if you're interested, let me know. Nikki and I can get that um, ordered and sent out to you. Okay, and anybody else that's interested, do love to get you. This paper is beautiful. You'll love it. I promise. I promise. Okay, so names are in the drawing for the Simply Marvelous Designer Series paper. And let's see, Rosemary. Hello. How are you? Come see us at card class this next Friday, the 14th from 1 to 3. Or the, um, the new catalog kickoff 
celebration kickoff event on Saturday, next Saturday, the 15th from 10 until 1. We miss you at class, Rosemary. Okay, all right, here we go. Shaking these around. And we have one lucky winner, Miss Vina Gomez. All right, congratulations, Vina. You are the winner of the Simply Marvelous Designer Series paper. So I will get that sent out to you. I always have to keep the name right on there so I... Not that I don't remember, right? And I can always watch the Facebook Live video again. Um, okay, so next Facebook Live, we are going to give away, this is such a cute stamp set. Um, I've seen so many fun things made with this. And honestly, I haven't really played with it much yet, so I'm super excited to play with it. But this is the Awesome Otters stamp set. So this is one of our celebration stamp sets that you can get for free with a $50 order. But I'm gonna give it away on our next Facebook Live as well. Look at those cute little otters, right? Aren't they so fun? And grab your blends or your... Um, your uh, colored pencils and you can um, color these little babies in super duper cute plus sentiments like it's birthday time and you are utterly awesome <laughs> so cute and then that little um, birthday hat that you can put on him too he's so cute so that's what we will give away on our next facebook live okay um all right i think we are ready yes serious crafter math oh my goodness okay so here we go we are going to Flip the camera down, and then I'm gonna show you more good stuff, okay? So bear with me, sorry. Woo, that glare is super bright. Oh my goodness. I'm probably like totally squinting. And the buttons are in a little bit different place on my phone now, so I'm like uh, trying to make sure that I don't push something I don't wanna push. Oh, hard to make it to class, huh? Maybe Saturday, Rosemary, I guess, depending on what your work schedule is these days. We miss seeing you there for sure. Okay, so we got the camera flipped around. Um, okay, because the glare is bugging me. We're going to go for a ride and see if that'll... <laughs> it helped and then it didn't. Okay. Okay, we're going for a serious ride here. I think we are out of the glare. There. Okay, good. There. Much better. Let's see. We look a little crooked, though. Can I flip things? Okay, so let me check. Got to check my notes, ladies. Okay, we're going to look at swaps, first of all. Okay, so I'm going to kind of just flip through these, and then I'll bring them back out as I actually play with the products, too. So we'll kind of just kind of flip through them um, so you guys can see. So this is the, oh, I maybe should have put them in a little bit of order. Uh, <laughs> yes, you always look forward to the new animal set. It, that seems to be in each new catalog, like that little otter stamp right there, right? So here, I should have maybe organized them a little bit better, but let's see if we can't kind of do that. So there are a couple of, and I love both of those. So there's that marbly paper. Isn't that so pretty how they use that kind of behind there, right? And then this cute little buddy, and you can see the coloring that they did, right? Here's a bunch of... Um, these are all featuring that Friendly Hello Designer Series paper and stamp set. Let me see if I can kind of do that a little bit. There's another one. Hope you have the best birthday. And then um, the flowers. So these all are from the same stamp set and um, Designer Series paper. Let's see. Oh, here's another one. There's another Friendly Hello stamp. Um, oh, here's another one. You like that one? So lots of, right, hello, friend, that you can do. And look at, so all the beautiful paper, too. Love this color combination. I think it's just beautiful. The otters are so stinking cute as well, though, right? Okay, let's see. What else do I want to show you guys? So we'll kind of scoot these over so that we're not completely overwhelmed. This is the new Daffodil Designer Series paper. We've got that one. And we've got that one. Is that all? I think those are the two with the Daffodil Designer Series paper. And it is, so at first I was like, oh, I don't know if I like this very much, but it's definitely grown on me. And I think kind of in small doses, it's beautiful. There's that, um, like the beehive honeycomb. I'm not even sure what it's called, but that embossing folder. Uh, yes, the friendly hello. She, yes, Susan, you're in love with that. Me too, absolutely. Um, okay, let's see. This has some of the Simply Marvelous Designer Series series paper as well as that one. Oh, and then with the otters too. So cute, huh? But do you see it's so pretty just kind of that background and she stamped right on there. Isn't that cool? This is the new um, embossing folder that we're going to use on projects today also. 
Then there's this one, the, um, what is that one called? Let's see, because I can't remember. It's this one, the Island Vibe. So she just kind of stamped that right in there. Isn't that pretty? Relax and enjoy your day. Love that too, right? And then last, we have a couple of the Sunshine and Rainbows, the designer series paper. And oh, that's so cute too, that little car. That one is from the Driving By stamp set right there. Yeah, and then here, this is, um, I think it tells me in here too. Let's see. Did I already flip past it? I feel like I did. The Sunshine and Rainbows designer series paper. There is the Rainbow of Happiness bundle that I'm sure this is from. I don't actually have that yet, but you kind of can see, right, all of um, the coordinating. So the designer series paper and then the bundle from the mini, the January to June mini catalog that coordinates. That paper is so pretty. It's what I also used here, that stripey paper. I loved my, my stripes are my favorite, I think, stripes and polka dots. So I used a bunch of that on um, these as well. So yeah, lots of fun projects. And like I said, as I play with, for example, the daffodil paper, I'll pull these back out and we'll kind of share these again as well too. So beautiful though, right? Love that. Um, I should have brought my swaps over and I forgot to do that. I'll, I'll show you guys those next time. But I, if you don't swap, I think it's such a great thing to do. Basically, um, you can even kind of search online, right? So I make one card. So for example, um, let's see who made this one. Confessions of a Stamping Addict. Oh, that's such a cute name. Anyway, it doesn't say her name on here, but she made 16 of these cards, sent them in to the gal that coordinates the swap. She trades them all out and sends us back 16 different swaps. So great way to get a bunch of cute ideas that then you can use. I love to use these for my card classes. Kind of helps, um, you know, with the design time, right? Okay, so we're gonna scoot those. I'm just kind of tossing those over there. Next, we have our mini catalog. And these, um, I think we're just gonna kind of peek at one by one because I don't have these organized. And I don't know the names of anything yet. So we're just gonna kind of enjoy and appreciate them right now, right? So we've got this, have a perfect birthday. Oh, here's another one, another have a perfect birthday. That pretty designer series paper, that... Those are new doilies. That's a new um, embossing folder. Those are the new rhinestones. This is beautiful too, right? Happy Mother's Day. Love that. It's almost like she created her own designer series paper there too. Beautiful, huh? This embossing folder, okay, this is obviously gonna be a huge hit. Look at that, isn't that so cool? So this is probably the same. That's the same designer series paper, right? Beautiful, here's the best wishes. This is, um, well, it's more new designer series paper too. I can't think of the name of it, but I made um, some New Year's cards with that designer series paper. Oh, and then a hello right here, two more pretty flowers, right? Relax and enjoy your day. Look at all of that detail, the stamping and coloring. Who did that one? Wow, Karen, wow, that is amazing. She did a lot of work on that one. <laughs> this is a cool one too, isn't it? Most valuable dad, happy birthday. That's a cute one, right? And let's see, we've got I'm Nuts and Bolts About You. That's kind of a fun little Valentine-y one, right? And then how about this one? Live Life in Full Bloom. What a beautiful sentiment, right? And I do have some others that I'm gonna share with you. So this was some of them. And I pulled out my um, Sweet Talk um, swaps and I'll show you those in a sec when we actually do um, our stamping. Okay, um, oh, so real quick, you guys maybe have seen, I am doing a new class to go featuring the Hello Ladybug bundle. I just wanna show you guys, tell you guys, I forgot to bring over my details. So I'm just gonna show you the cards. I am, I don't know if I should even guess on the prices. Hold on, let me go grab my info on this. I'll be right back. I knew I forgot one thing and that was it. Oh, there's Stormy. <laughs> I see. Okay. Oops, you don't want to see all that, right? But okay, yeah, I got distracted. Stormy's like all high. Yeah, okay, you're fine. You're fine. You can lay down. <laughs> okay, so awesome. I love this Hello Ladybug bundle. It's so cute. So you guys have to check it out, right? So we've got, this is my favorite, that sweet little smiley ladybug right there, right? So we've got, may your greatest wish come true. My friend, you can bug me anytime. Hello and it's a good day. And then just so many fun, bright, kind of bold, 
um, just sunshiny, happy sentiments and images in that Hello Ladybug stamp set. And then, of course, the punch that will coordinate with the stamp set. Okay, let me show you. I'm going to show you the four cards, and then I'll tell you about the different options. So we've got this cute little one that says, may your greatest wish come true. And then I just stamped those on the inside. Oh, I know, it's so fun, right? And then this one, the hello, my friend. And then there's that little, oh, the little smiley ladybug. And this one I figured you could do with pretty much every color designer series paper that you will get with this class to go. This one I just kept blank, but you could do birthday thinking of you, thank you, whatever you want on that one. And then the little hello, hello, hello. And then it's a good day on the inside of that one. So those are the four cards that you'll make in the class to go. Option number one includes the stamp set and the punch. You also get a full bolt of the black and white gingham ribbon, a full package of the matte black dots, and then a full package of the Regal's Designer Series paper. So that's what I was saying. For example, this card you could make in any of those colors, right? Because ladybugs come in many different colors, right? I don't know if I've really seen a purple one, but I thought it was very pretty. So anyway, you're going to use this Designer Series paper on your projects as well. Um, you also get a free celebration choice with option number one, plus the PDF tutorial that tells you how to put your projects together, right? So option number one is $70. Option number two is if you already have the stamp and the punch, make sure you have those because you need those to finish your projects. You get the ribbon, the designer series paper, the dots, the PDF tutorial, and all the parts and pieces to make four of each of those cards. Hi, Janice. Hello. Welcome. So option number two is $33. Option number one is and two can either be porch pickup option, then there's no shipping fee, or if you need it shipped and it's an additional $9 priority mail shipping. Option number three is the PDF tutorial that just tells you how to put the cards together. It's $15, always available even after the RSVP deadline passes. And then option number four is for my downline. They can get the PDF tutorial for free, or for just $12, they can get the make and takes, again, all the parts and pieces to make two of each of those projects. They'll get their own stamp set and punch to do their own stamping and punching using their demo ID because then they can get their 20% discount, right? But I still send everything else that you need. You get the paper, the dots, the ribbon, um, the PDF tutorial. So that's option number four for my downline. That's $12. Uh, RSVPs are due two weeks from today on Friday, January 21, and kits will ship out no later than February 2nd. So let me know if you have any interest, any questions. Love to get one of these fun Hello Ladybug class to go kits sent out to you. Okay, we're going to scoot those out of the way. And I have to show you. So these were a couple more swaps that I received, again, featuring the Hello Ladybug bundle. Aren't those so cute? This one actually pops open too. Oh, let me just show you because I thought this was really, oh, she stamped on the back too. Oops, am I caught on something? I think I am. There, I don't want to pull my, so isn't this so cool? Is that kind of, can you kind of see how it does that? And it will, st well, it will stand up. It did when I had it on my craft table. It's not wanting to right now, but isn't that, isn't that so cool? Look at all the detail in there, right? And then she even stamped on the back. You can bug me anytime. This is from Nancy Thompson. So super cute, super duper cute. Um, I've been sharing actually on our Facebook group, my swaps. I haven't mentioned that they're my swaps, but my one lady bug card um, was was my swap that then got me all these cards back. So, um, okay, I think, are we ready? Oh, Debbie, hello, welcome, and thank you for sharing. Okay, I think we are ready to do our stamping. I'm just trying to make sure. Oops, that's not what I wanna look at, right? Um, yep, yep, okay, I think we're good. All right, let me grab, I need, here we go, I need my grid paper right here so we can do our stamping. Thanks, Tammy. I'm glad you like those cards. I had lots of fun playing, right? That's the whole point, right? We have lots of fun playing with all the new products. Okay, so I have to show you guys this again because there's no more glare and this is just such fun paper. I was like, Lily, telling my daughter, you have to come see this designer series paper because it's so pretty. Okay, so we've got lots of the, it's just like fun bright colors too, right? So the pinks and purples, and they've even got some blues and yellows and greens in there too. So this is one side of the sweet 
talk, I think it's called, designer series paper, and then I'm gonna flip, and that one we'll bring over here too. So here's the other side. Look at the purple, love the stripes. Love these stripes too. Stripes are my favorite. And this is a fun one also, right? Look at all the fun imagery on that designer series paper. So love it, love it, love it. You guys are gonna need, you're gonna have to have, you probably really just need to sign up for that designer series paper share so you can get a quarter of a pack of all of that beautiful paper. Okay. Um, we're gonna scoot that out of the way. You guys wanna see? Okay, oh, no, hold on, I gotta show you one more thing. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like crazy today. These are a couple more swaps that I received featuring this bundle that we are going to play with right now. So aren't these so cute? Like, look at that little teeny tiny envelope and the heart kind of popping out of there. It says, Happy Valentine's Day with that fun designer series paper. Then we've got, this is the little text me, happy to have you in my life, super duper cute, right? And then this fun one, Happy Valentine's Day, featuring some of our red faux linen ribbon as well. So fun, beautiful, right? Lots of great ideas. Okay, so here is the card that I'm going to finally make for you guys today. So we've got more of the fun designer series paper that write this little happy to have you in my life. Did some little stamping with that little envelope, the teeny tiny little heart right there with the little rhinestone. And then on the inside, we've got happy Valentine's Day. So cute, right? And then this ribbon too, fun ribbon. So I have to tell you, I think I showed, maybe last week did I show you, this was a swap that Sharon Greening from my Inspired Stampers group made for our shoebox swap that we did with our um, team meeting in December. And I loved the, um, kind of the layout of her card. And this is my favorite thing to do is to basically case her layout. And then it helps me with my inspiration too, which is, you guys have to know, right? You don't have to come up with everything everything completely on your own, right? You can go to Pinterest, Facebook, lots and lots of ideas out there, right? But a lot of times I have kind of a hard time getting like my mojo started. So I love to use like, especially these card layout ideas and then um, tweak them to use this, whatever product that I want to play with to share with you guys on Facebook Live. So love this, right? So this is my, um, you know, card layout. And then this is what I um, basically came up with using the new Sweet Talk suite of products. So thank you, Sharon, for your inspiration in helping get me started to make this beautiful card. Okay, so I have to show you guys the ribbon too because I love, this is in our annual catalog, actually. It is called the Highland Heather Grow Grain Ribbon and it's like sparkly. It's not just grow grain, but it's like got like a shimmery sparkliness to it as well. <laughs> yes, Deb, seven degrees. Is that what it is? Oh my goodness. I guess I haven't been outside yet today and I'm, I'm not, I won't be looking forward to it now after you told me what the temperature is. Oh my goodness. Oh, you know what? I think I need my, um, I'm going to need my real red ink pad. I was going to have that to share with you guys um, for something else and then I put it away. I'm going to go grab that right now while I'm thinking about it. One moment. Here we go. <laughs> okay, so we need that one too. All right, so I'm going to tell you sizes first of all. This one is a little bit, hello, Mike, how are you? Um, harder to show, but this is <laughs> because I, I adhered it. Just imagine that this one is a full sheet of our Highland Heather cardstock, okay? So along the eight and a half inch side, we cut it at four and a quarter inches. And then along the 11 inch side, we scored it at five and a half inches. And then I have my note that I like threw, oh, five and a half. And then also, let me flip it this way. I can kind of, I can barely see it. Yes. So I actually scored it at four inches and at five and a half inches. So you guys can see how that works, right? So we're going to fold it in half. Are we? <laughs> we are. There we go. And then it's like a really faint score mark probably because I need my glasses on. Okay, and then that's gonna fold back there. So we're gonna put adhesive right inside here so that this lays down and then that opens just like that one, okay? All right, so then we also, lots of little parts and pieces for this one. So here's our designer series paper, this piece right here that measures three and three quarters by four inches, okay? That's gonna go on the front. Then our basic white cardstock, also the same size, the three and three quarters by four inches, and that's gonna go on the inside of that piece. 
we have this other little piece of designer series paper right here and they've got i think it's well i don't know maybe so it says love in english and i feel like maybe this is a bunch of other languages that say love i'm guessing um and then this cute little um these are like the little conversation hearts right with the hug me text me you're cute love you <laughs> can you guys see very very cute huh right okay so this piece measures one and a quarter by four inches and that is going to go right there and then this is the only other you need to know. This is a little one inch square. So one inch by one inch. That little piece we are gonna attempt to stamp and put on right there. Okay, we'll see how that goes. And then I just have some scrap pieces of Highland Heather and Basic White to do our other stamping and die cutting. And where's my real red? Oh, cause you know what? I think, was I gonna make the other? We'll add that later. I know what. Oh no, here, this is what we're gonna do. Okay, I have it all figured out. And then a piece of real red cardstock also. Okay, so let's see. I think we are, let's do our stamping. And do we need to do any dot? Yes, we do. Okay, yeah, because we need, we're gonna stamp that little. I'm enjoying kind of decorating the inside of the cards too. You know, sometimes I do that, sometimes I don't. Just depends on, I don't know. I don't know what it depends on, but okay. Let's see, so let's scoot these guys out of the way because we need this one for our die cutting, okay? And that one for our die cutting also. Okay, so we've got our little heart and our sentiments. Oh, and I do need that bigger. Okay, let me see if I have that. So we're gonna start with, <laughs> okay. Where is, I'm going to stamp this off, okay? So on this teeny tiny, I'm like laughing at myself, okay? Teeny tiny little heart, right? We're going to stamp that off, and then I'm going to stamp that on there because I want it to be a little bit more faint. It was a little bit too dark when I used it full strength. And then I'm going to use my Real Red ink, and we're going to stamp the happy to have you in my life, right? That's a great sentiment. You can send that to anyone, right? um family friends loved ones happy to have you in my life there we go okay i did it <laughs> very very excited about that okay and then on the inside of our card we are going to stamp our happy valentine's day nice easy tap 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 press straight down lift straight up isn't that the font on here i think is kind of fun hi mary how are you isn't that so cute the little happy valentine's day there's something about that it's just kind of um i don't know cartoonish almost then what i was trying to figure out is if i have this stamp because i think i didn't think i needed it oh i do have it good okay all right so then we are going to stamp this little guy, and I think I can die cut it right on here, right? So full strength, Highland Heather, there we go. And it's supposed to look like that too, just so you guys know, it's not supposed to be perfect. It's supposed to be a little bit lighter on one side and darker on the other, okay? So I didn't stamp it incorrectly. Your stamp is not, not working. It's just how that one is supposed to be. You can kind of tell that on here also. You see this side is darker than that side there too, okay? All right, I think I'm like trying to make sure, right? So we got that one and we got that one and we got, okay, so I think we're good. All right, close up the ink pads. Scooting these things over here for now and we're gonna do our die cutting. Don't lose that little baby either, right? Okay, so let me show you. Grab my die cutting machine. We are in view, right? All of a sudden I'm like, did I do a double check on that? But I think we're good. Okay. All right, here we go. So we've got our heart. And we're going to do this real red and then that Highland Heather. Okay. So I have a few things pulled out, I think, already. But we need, we're going to use this little baby right here to get our little heart. And then I'll show you. We're going to use this little strip. Um, possibly on another card. I can't remember <laughs> if I, I wanted to and then I'm not sure if I did or not. This one is going to go right on there and then we're going to use this heart. So you can see there are a bunch of other, lots of little heart images, that little tag, this banner, that teeny tiny little banner. So lots of fun um, things that you can do with that die set also. Okay, 
so we've got this one and this one right here. There we go. Okay. Does everything look good? All of a sudden I'm like, did that move? Okay, so cranking our handle. Oops, sorry if it's wiggly. In one sec, let's see what we've got here. Okay, so here's our heart, love that. Okay, that's what we're gonna put on the inside of the card, right? And then this is this cute little buddy. Isn't this so sweet, right? So it's like just this teeny tiny little envelope that we're gonna fold up. And then I love this one also. Let me show you guys this little baby. And we're gonna use the hearts that punched out. But okay, so can you kind of see that? And then let's lift this up and all those little hearts. So there's this little guy that you can use and then all of those hearts. So we're gonna use one of those little babies on our project that there and I'm gonna actually put these there save the rest of those for another card or another project okay we're gonna scoop that out of the way all right I think we are ready to put our card together okay let's see I was trying to decide this because this to me looks like a little bit smaller so I think I wanted to I'm gonna fold that one up and that one up, and that one up, and then there's that big lip. There we go, that's what we're gonna do with that. Let's see, okay, so we're gonna grab our adhesive, we'll just kind of, uh, we'll just put this little guy together right now while we're thinking about it, right? Okay, so we want this one to fold in. Can you guys see what I'm doing? Probably not. I'm getting too intent on what I'm doing and not um, trying to make sure that you guys can see what I'm doing. So that little folds, like that little, little teeny tiny thing right there. And then let's just add this heart so that we don't lose it. Okay, I'm gonna just add a little bit of adhesive. It was funny when I was doing this, I'm like, oh, this little envelope just needed a little something else when I, cause I put that on there and I didn't have the heart and I was like, oh, what can we do? And then I had die cut that little strip and I'm like, oh, look at those cute little hearts. That is exactly what it needed. Okay, I'm just gonna put a dimensional on this little guy. And we're gonna pop him up. Isn't this so cute? Look at that. Happy to have you in my life, right? And where are those? Huh. Oh yeah, they're right here. <laughs> I'm like, I thought I had those little rhinestones. Why don't we just do that? We're gonna put a little rhinestone on right now. We're gonna just add, there we go. So there, now that little envelope. Isn't that so cute, right? Okay. So we'll add that onto our card in a moment. Let's see, we can go ahead and put some adhesive on this heart and put that right there. And then this can go on the inside of our card. Don't think I'm gonna need that anymore. Actually, let's do so that I can line things up properly. Oops, ooh, I didn't tip it back. Did I, right? Run it, tip it back, run it. <laughs> there we go run it tip it back and you guys saw how when this wasn't running I just put it to an area that did have adhesive and pulled a little bit kind of gets it going again it's easier for me to do that sometimes than advance it with my finger okay so there we're gonna just adhere this guy down right here and of course I stuck that adhesive right on there okay scoot those out of the way uh, so if you don't press firmly, you can move it a little bit, but there we go. There's that, right? And then we're going to add our, this paper, it just makes me so happy. There's just something so fun and bright and cheerful. All the colors, the hearts, um, and this, the stripe too. I love this also. I can see using this. I mean, it's great for Valentine's projects, but I think this fun, bright, cheery, kind of springy, you can see like you could use that for Easter or something also. So it's not just, and I think pretty much every side has like maybe hearts on one side and then um, maybe a little bit more neutral on the other. So if you don't need much in terms of Valentine's projects, I think you could still have some fun with this paper um, for, with other, for other things as well. Okay, there we go. So we got that. We're gonna add this little baby. Let me grab, I love using my little silicone mat um, to add adhesive because I don't get adhesive all over my little work paper, my grid paper. Okay, now one last little 
bit to add is our Highland Heather Grow Grain Ribbon. So we're going to tie a pretty bow here. And you guys, I have to tell you, because you're going to laugh, right? I think I made this bow, I don't even know how many months ago. I, I made it and I wanted to put it on a project and I just didn't like how it looked on that particular project. But I loved the ribbon and I thought, oh, that bow, someday I'm going to be able to use that bow. And when I was working on um, this card, and I pulled the Highland Heather, you know, the cardstock and the ink. And I was like, oh my gosh, I think I can finally use that bow that I made that's been sitting on my craft table <laughs> for months. I can finally use it on this project and it's perfect. I love it on that card, just like that. Because it kind of blends in nicely with the designer series paper. But the sparkle, can you guys see? It is just, I don't know, can I get it in the right light? It's just a little bit sparkly there. Okay, so... We've got that. I need a glue dot. I'm like, what do I need now? I need some glue dots. All right, here we go. And this is pretty substantial ribbon, so I am actually going to use a couple of glue dots on here because I want to make sure that it uh, stays nicely on here. There we go. Thank you, Philomena. I'm glad that you like this card. I think it's pretty fun myself. Just, yeah, makes you happy, right? Doesn't it? Playing with these cute, cute things. So what do you guys think? Isn't that fun? The little happy to have you in my life and happy Valentine's Day. Oh, and you know what I forgot? I forgot to put one more little, have you guys seen these? The iridescent rhinestones. So they come in like a small, medium, and large. And it looks like I've used lots of the medium size, which I wanted to use on this one. So we're just going to peel that off. You make sure when you do that, that you use your fingernails and you get the glue dot behind there too, so that it pops right on there. Okay, there we go. Okay, so there is card number one for everybody. Let me show you. We've got one more. I can scoot this out of the way. Okay, so one more fun project to share with you guys. Oh, I did. That's right. I was like, did I use that? I thought I did. So can you see in the right light? It's so bright. It's like washing things out, but I used that little baby it's going to go right on there. You guys will see it in a sec, right? And then here is that fun, the gingham. That's what it is, the gingham embossing folder, right? So isn't this cute? Another little fun fold right here. Oh, and I had to use the XO. I, I'm like, I just want to use that on something. I think in the catalog, can I find that easy enough? They actually used it as a background stamp. Let me see if I can find it because I want to do that too. I thought that was really fun. Yeah, on this, can you see on this one, they kind of just stamp the X's and O's right on the card base. I'm going to bring that up so you can see. Can you see a little bit better? But I thought that was a great way to use it too. It just kind of adds some fun, those little X's and O's on the Highland Heather card base. And then obviously there's a bunch of pretty paper all layered on there too. Okay, so let me show you. Oh, and then actually, again, inspiration for this card. This was a swap that I received a while ago, and I don't have the person's name that made the swap card anymore. I apologize, but this was another great, you can see my card layout, right? I used the same kind of layout that she used on her swap, and then I just updated it with our new um, Sweet Talk suite of products, right? Okay, so let's see. That ink. Little guys. Okay, so I've got some notes here to myself too. So this one we are going to start with a blushing bride card base. Okay, this one's a little bit smaller than our standard size. It started out with the full sheet of cardstock, the eight and a half by eleven. I trimmed it down to nine inches. And then I cut it in half, like I always do, at four and a quarter inches along the eight and a half inch side. And then we scored it at three and a half. Okay, so again, it's four and a quarter by nine and scored at three and a half inches, okay? We're gonna just fold this piece in right there. And then that is gonna be the beginning of our card base, okay? If you can see that. Then we have our piece of, this is basic white cardstock that fits right in there. The normal layering size on the inside for me, four inches by five and a quarter inches is going to go right there. And we're going to emboss just this about two inches over with our um, gingham embossing folder, okay? 
Then our designer series paper. Love those hearts, right? And then the stripes. Oh, I love the stripes too. That could be kind of fun also, couldn't it? Um, this one measures three and one quarter by four inches, okay? And I think that's all. Do we need, oh, I know, there's actually one more piece. No, both of these, these little guys, right? So this little blushing bride piece, Robin, hello, how are you? Welcome, I'm glad you can join us. So this little blushing bride piece measures one, one inch by four inches, and then I scored it at one inch. So this goes like that, and then we're gonna tuck that right underneath there, like that, okay? Then we have one more piece of real red cardstock that measures three quarters by three inches. And then that is gonna just layer right on there like that, okay? Our glare, that sun just keeps peeking through. All right, we're gonna try to lose it for the last little bit here of our, <laughs> there. I'm, if you guys could see, I'm like almost wedged in the corner now, but I can still work. So I think we're gonna be all right. Um, okay, I think we're ready to go. So let's do our stamping. Um, one okay I think yep I need this one for this also did I stamp oh I know what I was gonna do so I did the X's and O's on this one and, and it almost felt a little bit big but I was just really dying to be able to play with that so I thought this time I want to use these three little hearts and we're gonna stamp those in the center there instead so we'll see what we think of that one okay so let's do Let's do our stamping and then we'll do our embossing and then I'm gonna come back and stamp that at the very end, okay? All right, so we've got this piece that's gonna be embossed. These little guys can come over here. I just have scraps basically of Blushing Bride to make that little tag right there. And then <laughs> you're working and watching since it's a quiet day. Very nice, very efficient use of time, Susan. Um, the basic white, we are going to stamp on this, and then we actually already made our little red die cut piece on the last one. We're going to die cut a heart out of that one too. So, okay, all that being said, we basically need our Blushing Bride ink. We're going to open that up. Okay, nice, easy, tap, tap, tap. I can't remember whether I stamped. We're going to just do it two times. We're going to stamp fully because I think that might be too much. Yeah, oh, that's interesting. We're, let's try that again. Okay, right, there's one. It's almost like I've got some ink that I can't get off in the middle there. Do you see it's like making a little, <laughs> that's okay though. And then I am going to stamp with my real red ink. Which one do I want to use? Hmm, <laughs> we've got this little, you're cute. I think we're gonna use this last one right here because we're gonna stamp the you're cute right over and then you don't even really notice that. Although I don't like how that, I didn't line that up very well because I don't have my glasses on. There, that one works better. Okay, we're gonna use that one. All right, I think we are good with all of that. Okay, stamp that little baby there. Let's do our embossing first and then we will do, is that what we're gonna do? No, because I think I already have my die cutting all set. Never mind, we're gonna do the die cutting first and then we'll grab our other platform, okay. So we've got this one and this one and this one. Where's my card? I'm trying to remember what I'm even doing. Oh, we are gonna have to, yeah. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have to do two cuts with. <laughs> oh my goodness. Here's my little die. I'm looking for that, the heart. We're gonna have to do that two times. Okay, that's all right. So we're gonna put this one on here. We've got our blushing bride cardstock and we're gonna use this little tag that is also from um, those, what are they called? Let's see, let's look at them. They're called the Sweethearts Dies. So this is what I have left. I've, we are using a bunch of them on our projects. Okay, get that little buddy lined up there. Okay, cranking our handle, here we go. Super excited to show you guys how this all comes together. Okay, we do need to cut one more heart, so we're gonna do that. But look at this little tag, isn't this fun? Just that little, right, just a fun little tag. Hi, Wendy, how are you? Thanks for joining us. Okay, we're gonna do one more little red heart on real red cardstock. 
I probably should have just used a different. There are, see there's a smaller heart right there. And I think there's even one more that I'm having my son, <laughs> Cade. He's avoiding me. He's, I, he came home last night. I'm like, Cade, I have some die cutting for you to do. And he like kind of ignored me and ran upstairs. <laughs> so when he came downstairs this morning, I was like, oh, Cade, there's still die cutting for you to do. <laughs> so hopefully I'm like, just at some point today, if you could do that for me, that would be lovely. Okay, so here I want to just show you again. We are going to just emboss this kind of two inches over on the side there. Just because I want, I don't, I want to be able to see all embossing um, when you close the card there. Okay, so we're going to kind of just eyeball it and figure, oh, maybe two inches looks like it's probably right about there. We could measure it. But you know, let's just live dangerously here. And I guess if there's a little bit that's not embossed, you probably won't even notice because there's a lot going on this card. Um, yeah, okay, so let's see. Again, what is this called, the hound's tooth, is that right? Oh no, gingham, the gingham embossing folder. I can't remember what I've called it, but it's the gingham embossing folder, maybe. Okay, there, I think we did a good job. Can you see it in the right light, right? There's one side, there's the other. So there's kind of embossed and debossed, depending on when, whether you want the little diamonds popping up or popping back out, right? Okay, let's actually stamp our little hearts. We're gonna do our three little real red hearts. And that looks like it's got a little bit of red on it. So we're gonna flip this this way there. And just those, those cute little hearts will go on the inside of our card, okay. Let's put things together. I think we are ready to do that, ladies. Let me just get these out of the way. Okay, so we're going to put our designer series paper on the outside of our project. <laughs> Let's see. Robin, you're saying, I'm going to show my age here. Can you use the big shot? Yes, you can. Yes, basically, um, Stampin' Up, you know, they had um, the big shot for many, many years. It was our first die cutting and embossing machine. And then they just basically upgraded. So yeah, just so, just so you know, I'll show you this. But yeah, this is Stampin' Up's new version of the big shot, their die cutting and embossing machine. The kind of fun thing is, is it folds up. I'm trying not to like slam it. It doesn't really slam, but I don't want to wiggle the camera, but this is what's kind of handy. If you haven't seen this yet, Robin, it really closes nice and easy, but I didn't, like I said, I don't want to. So here, uh, mine's pretty well loved, but it's got a nice handle that you can pick up and then it cranks right here. So yeah, this is basically the same version of the Big Shot. It's just Stampin' Up! makes their own now rather than ordering from Sizzix. So those just fold out. Really handy for, um, you know, if you need it to be portable at all, that those things fold right up. But yeah, you can use everything that you use in the Big Shot um, or that you use in here, you can use on your Big Shot also. So yes, 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 for sure. But someday, if you want to get the new die cutting and embossing machine, that is obviously available for you as well. Okay, so let me grab, I want my little, I need this little rubber mat piece because what we're going to do, we're going to add some adhesive right on the back here. And I want to do a good amount because this is going to kind of hold that whole little flappy thing in, okay? So you want to kind of just, I just eyeball it. You know, if it's not completely centered, it's probably pretty darn close. So we're just gonna lay that down. I'm gonna press super firmly to make sure that that is in there. And oh, you're welcome, Robin. And then we're gonna add our adhesive on the back of our basic white piece. I always like to use a lot of adhesive on the embossed pieces because that, you know, the bumpiness kind of, uh, I don't know, it'll, it doesn't allow it to stick quite as well. Although that's sticking really well right there, isn't it, right? Okay. So we're gonna do that right there. Next, we're gonna add this little red strip over top of our pink. Okay, so that goes there, that goes there. This thing, we are going to, oops, it appears to be a little bit longer, but that's okay, because we're gonna put our label. Should have trimmed that down a tiny bit more, apparently, but actually, that's what we can do. We're gonna lay, hmm. oh, I got it a little bit crooked, so here we go. You can, if you don't press too hard, lift that up. And let's just trim that off a tiny bit. There we go. Next, okay, we're gonna open 
that little guy back up there. So we've got these little babies. So next, oh, we need this little thing. Okay, so this is the one that I die cut earlier, if you guys can see, and we used one of the little hearts from the inside. So now we're gonna put that right on there. Okay, so let's see, we're gonna just add some adhesive. And I like to, again, just use it right on my little silicone mat because then it doesn't get adhesive all over my grid paper. And we're gonna kind of just lay this down on here and we'll trim this off just like we did the other piece. I'm gonna press firmly. And if you have extra adhesive, if you, as you're kind of laying this down on here and adhering it to that red strip, you can kind of just work it off of there almost. Okay, so again, we're just gonna trim that little buddy off right there. And then we are going to add some adhesive to this thing right here. That goes there, that goes there. This thing is going to lay down right about there, right? I'm gonna press firmly on that one. Then we are gonna add our other little hearts. You guys can all see, right? Okay, good. All right, we've got this one and this one. There is kind of a front side and a back side, so I was trying to figure out it's almost like the ridges kind of curl around it on the back side for me, right? Okay, so there's one heart. There's the, you're cute. Isn't that fun, right? And then, where's my bling? Have some of our holiday rhinestones that are for every holiday, basically, right? So we're just gonna add one of our red rhinestones right up there. And then last, we have our beautiful new real red faux linen ribbon. So this is, all of our red ribbon just seems to be so easy to work with. And I, this linen is really nice, um, easy to work with too. And it's just, it's beautiful. But again, it's a lot easier to work with when you're not on a video than when you are on a video. So I'm just trying to push that. <laughs> there we go. Yes, beautiful, beautiful, just fun, bright, cheerful ribbon there. And we don't want it to be too big because we don't want it to overpower our sentiment, the little, you're cute, right? So again, we're gonna add a little glue dot. Did I get it? I think I did. Lay that, put that right there. And there we go. There's the, you're cute. And then it opens up, oops. Oh, I like stuck the glue dot. <laughs> All right, I'll fix that later. There we go. And then those cute little hearts on the inside, right? Or we've got this one that has the little X and O on the inside. That one's fun too, right? So ladies, we did it. Okay, man, I wish I had someone to come clean up after me now. <laughs> My goodness, because I have, yes, a huge mess. Oh, I forgot to give you guys our new host code. Here's our new host code for the month too. The 3SZN4XQZ is our host code. That's on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com. Thank you, ladies. Oh, I love that. Uh, Rob and Philomena, I appreciate. Thank you for your kind words. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So ladies, quick recap, as always, especially if you're new to Facebook Live, if you put an online order in of at least $30 through me using our host code, you are going to get both of these projects sent to you as a thank you from me for your order right? If you bump your order up to, oh, no, wait, hold on. You also get your name in the drawing to win the awesome Otter stamp set with your $30 order using that host code, right? Along with the cards, you always get the cards as a thank you. Bump your order up to $50 and you get to pick from the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial or our free embellishment with the $50 order this month is the Polished Dots. You guys see those a little bit better. They're beautiful, more sparkly, gemmy dots, right? Plus, you also get a free celebration choice right now, too, free with your $50 order. That'll come from Stampin' Up! with your order. So please let me know if you guys have any questions. Love, love, love playing with these fun products, right? The Sweet Talk Suite in our brand new mini catalog. So woohoo! Mini catalog is live. Celebration is live. Enjoy, ladies. I hope um, you all have a great weekend. Happy New Year again, and we'll see you two weeks from today on our next Facebook Live. Bye, everybody. Thank you.